Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone, wherever you are. It's my pleasure to be here with you today to reflect on the opportunities the energy transition offers to young people and the role the youth can play. There is no doubt that we are going through difficult times. The pandemic has forced us to reconsider long-standing assumption and default decisions. As governments make highly consequential decisions that will shape the future for generations to come, there is also an unprecedented window for positive change. At ARENA, we have been analyzing how the energy transition can help us recover better. In our COVID report, an agenda for resilience, development, and equality, published in June last year, we stressed the importance of a recovery that is climate safe and based on equity and inclusion. We need to ensure that young people, as well as women and marginalized groups, are all able to benefit from the immense potential of the energy transition. This includes the creation of a wide range of energy transition-related jobs. Already today, 11.5 million people work in the renewable energy sector, and this could grow four times up in 2050. Many opportunities also exist for startup, startups and entrepreneurs to thrive. We must provide young people with tools, the skill and the support needed to take their place as the renewable energy professionals innovator and the leader of the future. Young people have become important contributors to the shifting narrative of sustainability and especially climate change. In response, both countries and corporations are increasingly aware of the challenge and far more open to change than at any point before. In recognition of this growing influence, ARENA has worked to deepen its engagement with youth in recent years. In fact, the second edition of ARENA Youth Forum took place just a few days ago at the sidelines of our 11th Assembly. Over 400 people from 100 countries registered and young people exchanged perspectives with high-level panelists on promoting an inclusive and just energy transition. I am convinced that every voice advocating for a better future matters. Conversations are crucial to establishing a mutual understanding of reality and underpin the development of a shared objective for change. Whether among families and friends, at school, on social media, or at forums such as the one you are part of today, or in your careers, I believe you can make a difference, no matter how big or small. Engaging in the energy transition is an effective way for you to contribute to a movement for positive and lasting change in our society and economies, and economies, and to recover better from the pandemic. But it's also on those who, of us in decision-making position to ensure that we listen closely to the demands and suggestions of young people and to empower them to take advantage of existing opportunities. I welcome the efforts of the Youth for Sustainable Initiative to enable the engagement of young people in sustainability. I look forward to hearing your perspective and ideas during the panel today, as well as we, the contribution that you hope to make in the future.